Hey everyone, this is the Films and Fantasy Entertainment with another movie review. This time it's a re review of the original Godzilla, aka Gojira. Now, as I've said before, I've always been trying to cash in on the Monsterverse movies. I've already said why, but I'm not going to go into my movie over and over again. But to be honest, here's how I really feel about the original Godzilla, specifically from 1954. I've always known about Godzilla, but the truth is later on, I became a really big fan after that because of my own personal life at the time. I had anger management issues as of, uh, as what my movie, I don't mean to go into that again, but as what my movie represents, but yeah, that. But anyway, I'm going to go into the original Gojira from 1954. As you may all know, the original Gojira was inspired by the fear of n future nuclear weaponry, as evidenced by the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. Especially since in the movie we hear people screaming, dying, and, and crying too. For me, that's just way too devastating, even for a monster movie, like I've said a few seconds ago. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not kidding. At least in the recut of this film, it's downplayed a little bit because even though it's still taken seriously, Raymond Burr's character is uh, the background for all this. He's a reporter named Steve Martin who would uh, coincidentally be the name of a comedian in the 80s, but that's why in Return of Godzilla, he's just called Mr. Martin the character, not the comedian. But anyway... For me, Gojira is a very, 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 very masterful and big and great example of the kaiju genre, if not for metaphorical films like many other films are. The sequel, Godzilla Raids Again in 1955, was in fact directed by someone else, not Hiroshiro Honda from the original Godzilla was in fact directed by him. But unlike the directing differences, they shared the same special effects as much as they do with the special effects leader, A.G. Tsuburaya, who would go on to make stuff like Ultraman and, and most of the Godzilla films in the early days. He was mostly influenced by stuff like King Kong and... and and stop motion. He even wanted to use stop motion with Godzilla, but due to budget constraints and stuff like, oh, we can't do this, which I relate to, they decided to stick to something like what they had in the film, Summation. Although it's uh, admittedly been done before, nothing much like what they've done here, which is pretty much a really good example of Better than done before, probably, I'm not sure. Actually, now I think about it, Haruo Nakajima, Godzilla's official suit actor since the 50s until the 70s, suffered a lot when he was experiencing the first Godzilla suit. I get to see that Flash Gordon uh, thing that probably uh, TV Tropes talked about, that, but I don't know. Anyway, Gojira is very masterfully produced. And even though it wasn't well received at the time because it was bad timing, it's just a few years or probably less than a decade after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But for me, I would just like to see it as a great metaphor for nuclear weaponry. But anyway, yeah, that's all. I, I haven't seen any more. My only thoughts are this movie's terrifying on its own, even for something like Godzilla or just any monster movie. But yeah... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. See you guys later.